2024 is turning out to be a historic year for Iga Sviantik as she snags her fourth French Open title, shocking the tennis world yet again. After dominating at Roland Garros in 2020, 2022, and 2023, Iga's triumph this June was truly legendary. Facing off against the best in the WTA, this French Open wasn't just a tournament, it was a milestone in Iga's career. Just how unstoppable was she? Let's dive in and see. Uncompromising. Almost Simply didn't happen, brilliant. by the way, almost. On June 8th, the entire world witnessed Iga's fourth French Open victory, sparking a debate on how many titles she can rack up at Roland Garros. Tennis legend Chris Evert, who holds seven titles herself, pondered, I think she can win more than I won for sure. Now that she's won four, I think she would pass my total. The pole is the youngest woman to snag four French Open titles, a record previously held by icons like Evert, Enin, and Graf, who are all 25. It's been three years since Iga's last defeat at this venue, showcasing her dominance. Comparing her to her idol Rafael Nadal might seem unfair. Nadal has a staggering 14 French Open titles, yet the parallels are striking. Nadal clinched his fourth French Open just after turning 22. Iga did the same right before her 23rd birthday. With her trajectory, matching Nadal's record at the same age isn't all that far-fetched. Mid-tournament, Iga also pondered, we'll see in 14 years if my journey mirrors Rafa's. I would never expect anyone to compare me to him. He's a legend. John McEnroe during the NBC broadcast remarked, she's building a Nadal-like legacy at Roland Garros. So far, so good. After a hectic schedule spanning from the Billie Jean King Cup in Poland to the clay courts of Stuttgart, Madrid, Rome, and Paris, Iga faced a daunting calendar. Yet in the championship match on June 8th, she answered all the questions about her resilience and stamina. How great was Iga throughout the tournament? Let's break it down for you guys. She was absolutely dominant. Starting off, she handed Anastasia Potapova a double bagel in the fourth round, thrashing her 6-0-6-0. Then she steamrolled past Wimbledon champ Marketa Vondrosheva in the quarters, notching a jaw-dropping 6-0-6-2 victory. Think she stopped there? Not even close. In the semis, Iga showed no mercy to Coco Goff, taking her down 6-2-6-4, leaving Goff emotional after a tense exchange with the chair umpire. Now that's what you call asserting dominance on the court. But hold up, it wasn't all smooth sailing. Iga nearly saw her Roland Garros campaign end in the second round against Naomi Osaka. Staring down match point, the tension was palpable. With the world watching, sweat dripping, Iga launched a cross-court backhand that Osaka couldn't handle, sparking a comeback that led to her third straight and fourth overall French Open title. Post-match, Iga reflected, coming back like that gives me the feeling that I should always believe in myself, that I can find my tennis even if I'm in big trouble and fight back. Now, was Iga feeling the heat in the French Open final against Yasmin Paulini? For a moment, it sure looked like it. Early errors got Iga broken in the third game, leaving her trailing 2-1 on the legendary court Philippe Cartier. Are we witnessing a stunning upset? Was Paulini about to turn the tables on the reigning champ? Spoiler alert, nope, not a chance. When it comes to dominating on red clay, Iga is in a league of her own. Shaking off the wobbly start, Iga kicked it into high gear like only she can. She blitzed through the next five games, surrendering just four points to snatch the set 6-2. It was a jaw-dropping show of force, flipping the script on Paulini's promising start. And Paulini? She wasn't exactly crumbling. She was just outclassed by Iga's intense, almost robotic precision and raw power. As Iga cranked up the pressure, Paulini's game started to unravel, her errors stacking up. This wasn't just a win, it was a statement. And so Iga stormed through the next set, bagging it 6-1 with a run of 10 straight games, a brutal display of her prowess. All right, let's now unpack some crazy stats from Iga after her epic win at the French Open. The pole is quickly becoming the undisputed queen of clay. 
She's notched an incredible 21 match win streak at Roland Garros, making it the fourth longest in the open era for women's singles, just behind legends like Chris Evert, Monica Seles, and Justine Ennin. Overall, Iga boasts a stunning 35 wins out of 37 matches there, and she hasn't been beaten in Paris since 2021. After demolishing Paulini, Iga scooped up her fourth French Open title, becoming the youngest in the open era to achieve this milestone, joining tennis greats like Evert, Graf, and Ennin. Chris Evert even tossed some huge props Iga's way, admitting on Eurosport she's constantly worried about her records at Roland Garros being surpassed. When I put my head under the pillow, I'm worried about Iga, said Evert. I think Iga will end up on double digits. I don't just think she'll beat my record here. I think it's double digits, Evert predicted. Iga's reaction? Super chill. It's nice to hear such words, but I'm not thinking in those categories. But wait, there's more. Iga is smashing records left and right. She's the second player ever to clinch the Madrid, Rome, and Roland Garros titles in a single year, a club Serena Williams joined back in 2013. Iga's one of only three women to grab three consecutive Roland Garros titles, a feat last achieved by Justine Ennin and Monica Seles. In an unbelievable second round match against Naomi Osaka, Iga saved a match point to fight on, becoming one of the rare few to pull off such a comeback and still win the French Open. And Iga's not stopping there. She's already nabbed her fifth Grand Slam title at just 23, making her the sixth youngest to do so in the Open era. She's also the first player in 10 years to nail down three straight titles at a single Grand Slam, a feat last done by Serena Williams at the US Open from 2012 to 2014. So do you think Iga's record-breaking rampage stops here? What are your thoughts on Iga's historic run? After Iga's monumental French Open victory, reactions poured in from all corners of the tennis world. Novak Djokovic, fresh off his own battles, took to social media to drop some major props. He hit up Instagram with a simple yet powerful, congratulations, Iga, showing some major love from one champ to another. Iga wasn't about to let this monumental moment pass quietly. She hit up Instagram with a heartfelt post. It doesn't get more challenging than this. To stay disciplined for so many weeks, to focus on the right things, to be here and now, but at the same time to enjoy life, to be happy, content. I'm so proud and grateful for my team, family, all the support. You have no idea. But yeah, I want to say it out loud. This was something else. Merci Paris, je t'aime. And the fans, they're already betting on her future, saying things like, at this pace, she'll surpass Serena. Another chimed in, 23 and she already has four. She could potentially win nine plus if she maintains this level, improves. But hold up, the French Open final just went next level with a slice of drama and not just from the tennis. John McEnroe, yes, the John McEnroe, stirred up the buzz, not for his commentary on the match, but for dropping a comment about Iga throwing on a little makeup. Why? Because Iga recently became the face of French luxury makeup giant Lancome. Did j Max seriously just ask if Lancome signed Iga if she'd throw on a little makeup for the right price? He's unbelievable. Unhinged, a fan exclaimed. The tennis community did not take it lightly. Fans were baffled and upset with tweets like, sick to my stomach hearing McEnroe casually criticize Iga for not wearing more makeup during this final, popping up all over social media. Leaving now the Iga controversy in the rearview mirror, what's next for this tennis superstar? While primarily dominating the clay courts, the poll has shown she's no one-trick pony. Yes, she's owned Roland Garros multiple times, but let's not forget her 2022 US Open win and her 13 out of 22 WTA titles on hard courts. Grass? Well, that's a different story. It's the surface she's tangled with the least. Just 23 matches compared to 205 on hard and 90 on clay. Wimbledon has been her toughest challenge, with last year's quarterfinals marking her best run in the senior tournament, despite clinching the junior title back in 2018. British tennis pundit Annabel Croft, fresh off commentating the French Open final for the BBC, threw down a bold prediction. I think Sviantec will win all four Grand Slams. Look at Nadal. Everyone thought he'd never win Wimbledon, but he found a way. So what do you guys think? Is Iga going to conquer grass the way she's reigned over clay and hard courts? But before she hits the grass courts, why not take a trip down memory lane? Check out this video to relive Iga's epic win in Rome and get pumped for what's next.